Take it easy, yo. Ah, oh, you gotta throw a big party when your buddy Chuck Moran is getting married. <laughs> Besides, when Sally Carruthers becomes Sally Moran, we may never see you again. What are you talking about never seeing me again? You have to come going to a funeral. Uh, you know, nah, nah, nah. There's a big difference between a wedding and a funeral. Sure is. At a funeral, You'll be a dead duck before you go off the aisle. <laughs> oh, not you too. It's true, Chuck. This might be your last day out with the guys. What are you talking about? You're married. You get to go out whenever you want. You're kidding? I sneak out. What do you mean? You see, I, I stuff some pillows under the blanket. Put a mannequin's head right there. <laughs> you mean to tell me your wife doesn't notice? Look, pal. After you're married for a little while, there's a place where your wife don't even want to go too close to you, and that's in bed. <laughs> you bet I'm never gonna have that problem. I was always better with the girls than you were anyways. Well, the shorter girls anyways. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You couldn't get too lucky at a Cialis demonstration, <laughs> would you? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I bet that's a You better be glad there wasn't no girls coming in here now, boy, or else I show you the old master hasn't lost his touch. Oh, yeah, sure you would. Sure you would. Well, that's easy to say when there's nobody around, but... Oh, hold the phone. Well, Mighty Mouth, this is a chance to prove yourself after all. <laughs> get a load. You see, this is what I'll do. Ten bucks says that you can't even get her to give you a tumble. God, what are you talking about? I'm getting married tomorrow. So what? So what? What if Sally finds out? Sally ain't gonna find out. She's probably at home trying to convince your mother that you're gonna amount to something someday. <laughs> oh no, that's it. That's it. You guys just have a ten bucks bet. Oh yeah? You better be ready to cough out that ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, alright. Sure. <laughs> Take that. Thank you. You just watch and learn, all right? Oh, I'll take notes. Hey there, beautiful. Where you been all my life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, no, I didn't mean any offense. It's just, I haven't heard a line like that since grammar school. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I used it. You know, I wanted to see if you were hip. Uh, if you didn't laugh, I'd be gone by now. But um, you don't mind if I sit down, do you? Yeah, so me and my buddy were sitting over there at the bar and uh, saw you walk in and I was just like, boy, that's one sharp looking girl just looking for a swinging guy. Really? Yeah. Well, what do you say I take you home, huh? I just got here. Oh, that's all right, no worries. Where do you live? Kansas. Kansas, huh? You're putting me on. Oh, no, no, I would not put you on. It's just, I feel it for the weekend. Oh, the weekend, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it's for a wedding. Oh, not yours, I hope. Oh, no, no, no. My sister's wedding. Oh, your sister's getting married, huh? Yeah, my baby sister, Sally. Oh, Sally. Uh, what's her last name? Maybe I know her. Carruthers. Do you know her? No, 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 of course not. I don't know anybody by that name. Carruthers, no. She's marrying this guy named Chuck Moran. By the way she described him, his name should be Upchuck. Oh my god, uh, um, that's sad. That's exactly what I said when she described him over the phone. <sighs> I think it's been a terrible mistake. I said that to her, but she insists on marrying this jerk. I, uh... Do you know how much money he makes? Yeah... You do? No, 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 of course not. I don't know how much money he makes. Say, um, could you do me a little favor? Mm hmm? Can you get your hands out of your face? It's hard to talk to you when you're like that. My hands and face, so... Hey, what'd you do that for? It's dark enough already. <laughs> yeah, it is dark in here. Um, I bet you wouldn't even be able to get a good look at me or even recognize me if you saw me again, huh? Of course I can. You have brown hair, brown eyes. You're about... Five feet, seven inches tall. You're 145 pounds. You have two gold caps on your upper right of your mouth and a bridge on the lower left. Uh, uh, bartender? Yes, sir. Yes, I'd like two double scotches and uh, what would you like? Oh, no, it's okay. I already have a little T-Bills on the airplane. Oh, my right here. Up. This is just one for the road. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, what is that? A gin and tonic? I'm, I'm not really sure what he gave you. You see, if I have a little bit too much to drink, I forget everything. Oh, I won't really? even remember my own name. <laughs> you forget everything when you drink, huh? Well, hey, waiter, uh, just bring the whole bottle and bring two water glasses. Got it. Thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure. All right. Say, are you always this nervous when you try to pick up a girl? <sighs> nervous? Uh, no, not at all. Um, I picked up hundreds of girls. Oh, you picked up hundreds of girls? No, 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 not, no, not hundreds. I mean, you're the, you're the first one. Um, how about we uh, propose a little toast, huh? To uh, Sally and a happy life. To Hallie and a happy life. Wait a minute. I want a straight you set about something. I don't want you to think that I'm some kind of young lady that walks into a bar and let just any stranger pick her up, you know? No, no. Of course not. I wouldn't think that. In that way, I am not at all like sad. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Not my sister, Sally. My ex roommate, Sally. Oh, your ex roommate. Um, well, how about cheers to Sally, uh, your ex-roommate, huh? Who? Sally, your ex-roommate. Oh, <laughs> you see what I mean? I don't even know who you're talking about. I forgot. <laughs> All right, good. Um, how about to, uh, uh, peace and prosperity? Yeah, to peace and prosperity. Yeah. How about to, uh, faith, hope, and charity? <laughs> Vase, Vobage, Vase. How about to uh, this uh, Fifth Harmony? <laughs> to Fifth Harmony. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you know one of them left? <laughs> oh, I know. Um, here's uh, John Cameron Swayze. Is he still kicking? <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, he's taking a licking, but he keeps on ticking. <laughs> uh, here's the hot shot remarks. The hot shot during sharks. <laughs> and um, here's uh, here's to you, uh, whatever your name is. Here's to me, whatever my name is. Uh, what is your name? I I don't know. I had it when I came in. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. Well, um, why don't you just uh, uh, go down the alphabet and see if you can remember. Here, I just freshen your drink up a little. Yes. I'll start with the A's. Sure, sure. Penelope. Shall Good, good. Lapu, lapu. No. Hey, you're living alone. <laughs> you must be losing. Ten? That would be ten bucks even. Thanks no. a lot. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Who might ever thought that the mighty Chuck Moran? No, no, Justin B. No. All right, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll go with you. Mighty Chuck Moran? Chuck Moran? Yeah. Chuck Moran? And you're in here trying to pick me up? Look, it's, it's all an honest mistake. Uh, mistake? You're marrying my sister tomorrow, and you're in here trying to pick me up? Look, there's a big explanation for explanation? all this. Explanation? Listen to me, mighty Chuck Moran. But we meet at a wedding tomorrow. If you mention one word of this to my husband, I'll kill you. 